Welcome to the Geek Swarm YouTube channel. I am Michael. I'm Fee. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at some games from Goliath Games and Games Adults Play. Uh, uh, hey, can we play these? Yes, we are considered adults. Oh, really? Yes. No, um, that's not what she said. <laughs> we may not act like adults all the time, but trust me, we, we can play. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had the pleasure of meeting with Goliath Games at Gen Con and got to see some of the games that uh, they had and they were kind of demoing and they were kind enough to send us some games to play and review. I know we've talked a little bit about some on the podcast, but I kind of wanted to show you some of their games, show you what they look like and tell you a little bit more about how they play. So let's go ahead and start with Virus. Oh, I was going to pick random ones. Oh, okay. But too bad. Yeah. All right. Open it up. Okay. So that's what... What do we get in this game? Virus. Yeah, now Virus is a game for two to four players. Yeah, since you just took the box. Two to six players, ages eight and up. And you're basically trying to get a set of healthy uh, healthy organs, basically. And, and players are trying to collect different sets of different colors like you have blue, red, yellow, green, and there's some multicolor organs, like, for example, the red heart. Other players are trying to have viruses and they can play on top of your healthy organs. So you can not collect a healthy set of organs if it has a virus. So you're also trying to play cards to get rid of viruses, but you can only play one card on your turn. So you can either play your organ, play a virus on somebody else's organ or try to heal your organ. And the first person to collect a set of four different color healthy organs wins the game. Yeah, I it's, just basically showed them exactly how to play. It's, it's very simple to learn. Um, it took us a little bit because we were doing a lot of take that and, and going after everybody else's cards. And eventually, somebody squeaked out a win. <coughs> yeah, uh, no one knows who really, who won that game, so we are just assuming that everybody won. Yes, <laughs> everybody won the game. Everybody won by watching me win the most. You, you see how uh, magnanimous you are. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this is what you get in it. These cards, go book. Yeah. All right, while you're putting that up, I am going to kind of open up Misery Index card game for two plus players, ages 14 and up. This is part of the Games Adults Play line. Um, this actually has a game show on TBS. So I'm going to move that over here so you can see a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, it actually has a game show on TBS where contestants are trying to figure out where things fit on the misery scale. And I think it's got the guys from Impractical Jokers or something on it. So, let's see. Um, basically, each card has something on it and it has a ranking from the misery scale. For example, flight, delay, uh, flight delayed, delayed, then canceled. On the misery index, this ranks a 13, according to people that they've talked to and done some interviews. Yeah, so. Um, so you have different cards out in front of you, like Stun by Jellyfish, 24.5 on it. So um, Passing a Kidney Stone, 55.5. So you will have cards in front of you. A person next to you on your left reads a card but does not tell you the index number, and you're trying to figure out where it fits amongst your cards. Is it worse than being stung by a jellyfish? Is it worse than pass a kidney stone? Is it somewhere between that? Is it not as bad as being stung by a jellyfish? Yeah, like, I'm going to show you one and have Mike guess this one. <laughs> this one is P on an electric fence. Oh, well, that's way more than pass a kidney stone. It's higher than 55. And you see the number? It is. It's 80.5. Uh, it's 80.5, so I would collect the cards. Um, and this has different rounds where you're trying to collect, you're trying to do one at a time, and then after you collect so many, it goes on to the next round where you're, it gets a little harder and harder to fit more into the line. But that's basically a game. Some of the cards on there, I'm not going to show you all of them, 
but there's some pretty good ones. There's some that we have that say, that's not that bad. The heck are people talking about? Yeah, so some of the rankings we were going through going, okay, yeah, that's, that can't be that bad. Why is it ranked so high? I don't get that as compared to some of the other ones. But that's just part of the fun. It's very easy to play. Uh, it doesn't take that long. Put it upside down. Nope, okay. <laughs> well, all right. And here, the last here. game. Yeah, yeah, you're good, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. The last game we're going to play is called Side Effects. The guessing game with an extra dose of absurdity. Now check out that giant pill bottle. This this is pretty cool. I I just had this sitting and have a lot of people kind of ask me about it. So I, I, I just told him that, hey, that's his drugs. That's all he has to do. So you have blue pills. You have red pills. And you have a whole set of cards here. Well, everybody knows you get... And you have your instruction book. Basically... Basically, it is a party game where you will draw one of the cards and y'all decide what color you're going to try to guess. And you can see different words. You have the yellow color, uh, green, blue, purple, and orange. So, for example, if your word, if y'all are doing all blue and you're trying to get your group to guess bottle, first you draw a blue pill and a, <laughs> a red pill. These are the side effects that you have to do while trying to get your group to guess bottle. For example, this says, Ariel, you're flying like a bird. And this one says, Lockjaw, speak with your mouth permanently wide open. So you have to perform both of these side effects and get your group to say bottle, which I am not going to do right now live. He doesn't want to like, make everybody jealous about how talented he is. Yes, that, that is true. And um, you have a little set time, and you can kind of go through and get as many cards as you can guessed in the time. And you have to keep drawing different effects. We played this game over Thanksgiving with my family, and it was hilarious to watch my family and mother-in-law and uh, some of the kids trying to act out some of these side effects. They were laughing, having a good time. It it was a pretty fun game. I don't even think we actually kept score towards the end. It was just we just kind of went through until all the pills were gone. That usually means he lost. <laughs> just yeah. so you know, Mike oh, said now you remember. Score. Now you remember. <laughs> but so and put all these pills back. Yep, put all those pills back. Everybody always gets the blue pill anyway. <laughs> we know that from the basement. Yeah. All right, so that was kind of a look at uh, the games that Goliath Games sent us. Um, had a really good time playing them all. You should definitely check them out. That was Virus, Misery Index, and May Cause Side Effects. So if you see them on the shelf, get them, pick them up, try them. Trust me, your family will like this one. This is a great party game. Yeah. All right. I am Michael. Thank you for watching. I'm Pete. <laughs> Man, that's quick. Yeah. It's part of my side effects. I had to hurry up. But your jaw wasn't open and locked. I didn't do the lock jaw, remember? <laughs> okay. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification when we drop any videos. Thank you.